The world is full of hazards, but luckily us human beings are pretty good at avoiding them. Oh, most of the time. Just think of your journey to school today. The fact you made it means you managed to dodge any hazards that might have got in your way. Sometimes hazards can be hard to avoid, perhaps because they happen suddenly without warning. Oh! Or because they happen to people that don't have the means to cope with them. Here you go. When a hazard is not avoided and causes serious harm to people, it is called a disaster. Disasters can come in all different shapes and sizes. Anything that causes harm to people or the places where they live can be called a disaster. Some disasters are small and affect just a few people, whereas others are much bigger. This film will look at some of the bigger types of disaster. Disasters of any size can have a terrible effect in the places where they happen. They can cause death and injury to people and damage and destruction to homes and places. But whatever the type of disaster, things can be done to help reduce the effects on people when they do happen and to help people prepare for that type of disaster in the future. We're going to look at some different types of disaster and then see what can be done to help people cope. Hurricanes and typhoons are tropical storms that can cause damage with very strong winds and heavy rain. These types of storms build up over large areas of warm water, which is why they usually happen by the sea in tropical places. In Guatemala in Central America, people are at risk from tropical storms. These storms threaten parts of the country for around six months each year. When two tropical storms hit Guatemala in 2010, they caused lots of damage and many people had to flee for their lives to escape the flooding. Droughts happen when places have less rain than usual for a long time. This can mean that water supplies dry up, people's crops don't grow and their animals might die. If this happens, people living in a place where there is a drought might not have enough water to drink or food to eat. In 2011, there was a drought across East Africa. Kenya and Ethiopia are countries in East Africa. It is often hot and dry in this region, which means that some people may not have a steady supply of clean water for washing and drinking, even in a normal year. But in 2011, the drought made things particularly hard and many families struggled to grow enough to eat and to keep their livestock alive. Some countries are more likely to be affected by too much water. Floods are often caused by heavy rain, which means that rivers overflow and flood water can cause lots of damage to land and homes. Pakistan and India are countries in Asia and they have a monsoon season each year, which is a time of year when it rains heavily. But in 2010, the rains were much heavier than usual and caused terrible flooding in both countries. Many people lost their lives. Earthquakes are caused by movements within the Earth's crust and they happen when the large plates that make up the Earth's surface suddenly move against each other. Most of that movement, and therefore the worst earthquakes, happen in places where the Earth's plates meet. These places are called fault lines. When these plates move together, it can make the ground shake violently, causing buildings to collapse. Haiti is a country in the Caribbean. On January the 12th, 2010, a huge earthquake hit Haiti. Many thousands of people were killed or injured by the falling buildings, and millions of people lost their homes. When an earthquake happens in the Earth's crust under the sea, it can cause a series of huge waves called a tsunami. Earthquakes and tsunamis are some of the deadliest natural disasters. On the morning of December the 26th, 2004, a huge earthquake tore apart the sea floor under the Indian Ocean, causing giant waves to crash into countries all around. In Indonesia, where the tsunami struck first, the waves were higher than palm trees and moving as fast as aeroplanes. 170,000 people drowned in just a few minutes. Less than two hours later, the waves struck other countries around the Indian Ocean, killing thousands more people and destroying millions of homes. Disasters are much more likely to happen in some parts of the world than in others. 
Although the United Kingdom does sometimes suffer from flooding, for example, it is less likely to experience extremes of weather than some other countries. And it's not near any major fault lines, so serious earthquakes and tsunamis are not a threat here. Of course, even countries that are prone to particular types of disaster do not experience those disasters all of the time. And when disasters do strike, there is usually lots that can be done to help people survive, recover and prepare for the future. Immediately after a disaster, there will be things that people urgently need, like shelter, water and food, to survive the first few days and weeks. But after that, they'll need the support in the longer term to help get their lives back on track again. Christian Aid is a charity that works with partners around the world to make sure that the poorest people in countries affected by disasters are helped in the best ways possible.